about the goal line drill with the other offense versus defense and just the level of the competition and how it was really excited to see how much that's improved from when you guys got here to now. Can we just speak on the level of competition and guys that are really embracing that whole mindset? Yeah, I don't even know what the score was leaving that period. I know. Defense won some, offense won some, but I know every yard down there was a hard-fought yard. Uh, guys, we, it's always good for me when we start to practice live, gets the tempo going, gets everybody excited a little bit. Uh, another chance for us to get some tackles in. Uh, but I, I really I really thought it was good. You know, the offense had some good plays. The O-line came off the ball. Uh, defensive line was coming off the ball. It was very physical up front. And then uh, on the perimeter, it was some good tackles and some good coverage out there and some good routes. So I thought it was a great great way to start the period. It was a great, great idea by Coach Frost. How does that drill help the defense? Well, it's it, it's really uh, crucial because you're trying to every week in practice throughout the season you're trying to simulate a goal line, a, a red zone goal line period, and when you have um, you know guys that are really good players in the Big Ten going against maybe a, a true freshman walk-on, that's not the situation for that young guy, right, when he has to come drive somebody off the ball. So it's hard to simulate those reps. So as many of those as we can get in camp and get in his spring ball, and we just bank those reps and bank those reps and bank those reps, that helps us a ton as we move forward through the season. I feel like that was an area you guys struggled with last year, just kind of goal line defense. Yeah, I mean, Everybody struggled, I think, when you get down by the one-yard line. It's, it's, it's hard to, for an offense not to not get one. But, uh, you know, I think we understand the package is a lot better on the goal line now. Uh, we have the ability to get in and out of personnel groupings, depending. And I think our, our kids are starting to understand what our offense is trying to do, too. If they're in 12 person, if they're in two tight ends, it's a different mentality than if they're in 10 and spreading the ball out, different style of plays coming at you, playing the game within the game. And I think those guys are getting better at that. Eric, uh, Coach Frost mentioned that the biggest difference between this spring and maybe last spring is the defense and the ability to just process and play faster. Would you concur about that? De definitely. I think, you know, it's, it's a couple different things. It's number one, they know what he wants from practice. They know what we all want from practice. They know the, the tempo, the drills, how to move in and out of things. And then they've also had a year in the system where now it's not, oh, man, what do I got to do on that call? They get the call, they play the call. And then, like, we're talking about goal line, they're playing the game within the game. They don't have to think about their assignment. They know their assignment. Now what is happening in front of me? What's, the, what's my pre-snap indicators? What's my keys? That's what they're thinking about. About now, I'm playing fast instead of what am I supposed to do on this call? Coach Frost also praised Darian Daniels quite a bit, not just what he's brought on the field but off the field. Do you notice that as well with him? Yeah, absolutely. He's a, you know, he's done a great job of jumping right in. Obviously, he's he's played a lot of football. Uh, his ability to learn is pretty high, so the assignments and those types of things were difficult for him to learn. And I think he's done a good job of mastering his craft physically and then leadership-wise. I think he's brought us another. Uh, just a whole different perspective, if you will, and in, in like I said before, he's not he's not trying to take the team over. He's doing it the right way. The kids are respecting him right now because of his demeanor, his work ethic, the way he produces on the field, and when he talks, everybody really listens. And I think they know that he's done it before, and we should probably you know hear what this guy has to say. How does that help? The oh, I think it, it always helps. I think a lot when you know your brothers been there and done that and had a successful career and now he's probably reinforcing some of the things that a lot of the coaches have been saying to you now if your brother's saying it you're like ah oh, maybe these guys aren't full of crap maybe I should really listen to this guy you know uh, but I think I think that helps him a ton. Coach Frost also mentioned that uh, coming off a of spring break you never know what you're going to get and yet Sunday the senior captain some of the leaders had a little pre-workout how happy were you with uh, their mindset and, and their uh, physicality coming in at, off of spring break? Yeah, I thought it was it was pretty cool. You know, they said that they're gonna do like they needed a script or I'm like, for what? You know, and they were and they were you know, they had a little captain's practice plan that, you know, we couldn't attend obviously, so I don't know what went on, but um, it's great that they had that mindset first and foremost to just get themselves together, make sure everybody's back, get a little a little pre sweat, a little pre workout before we practice the next day. I think that's a huge step in the maturity of our team. And then, you know, we came back on Monday. A lot of times that's a throwaway practice to be honest with you, and that wasn't it was a it was a really good practice. It was a good time to shake the rust off, and the guys ran around and played hard. We had a few errors, but that's what's going to happen after a week off. Um, but I thought it was a, a huge step in the right direction. Eric, you're halfway through spring ball. What do you want to see over these next two and a half weeks? 
Yeah, I think I just want to see some of these guys that we think are emerging to develop a little more and really grasp a hold of whatever their spot is, you know, make people chase them a little bit. Um, we've only had one live practice. We had the live, <coughs> excuse me, period today, but I want to see us tackle a little more. I thought we tackled well in the first scrimmage, but I want to, one time is not a, a big enough sample for me, so I want to I want to make sure that we're tackling the right way. Uh, I want to see us keep running to the ball, and I want to see how much we can push the installation. We, we, we would have stopped, you know, last year, after last week. That took us about four weeks to get in. Now we're two weeks and we're we keep pushing the install. So I want to see how far we can push that, and we'll stop it if they if they can't operate. But so far they've been great. It was just one Friday or one uh, spring practice scrimmage. Um, anything jump out to you on the defensive side from that scrimmage? You know, like I said, I, I think. Like you guys already said, you know, Coach Frost said, I guess, that they're operating a lot faster mentally. And then they really hunted the ball. They really ran ran well. Uh, and I thought, I didn't think we were a good tackling team last year. I thought we were a poor tackling team. And I think we're becoming a good tackling team. And I thought they tackled well. They ran through tackles. They leveraged tackles. They got people on the ground. Uh, so that was pleasant to see. Now, I, I'm not saying that we're, we're, you know, we're the Tampa Bay Bucks with Warren Sapp and the boys yet. but. Um, we're moving in the right direction, and I, I thought I felt good about it. Anything else? All right, thank you.